What's up guys, Shane starts with Droid Modder X, and as some of you may know, most of you probably don't know yet, but Sinajamod has officially released nightly builds for the Nexus 6, so this is pretty exciting news. We've been patiently waiting for the Lollipop build from Sinajamod across devices, but the Nexus 6 finally has an official build. Now there have been some unofficial builds on several devices, most of them were filled with bugs, uh, but this is actually a very stable version of Sinogen Mod 12 is probably one of the most stable versions that I've seen. So I'm going to do a quick little run through. This won't be a full review. Uh, this is mostly a how-to guide for how to flash, which will come towards the end of the video. I'll make sure to put a timestamp in there in the description so you guys can fast forward if that's what you're here for. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get started with some of the features. Now, the first thing that really stood out to me was the Sinogen Mod 12 camera and the fact that it actually functions better than the stock Nexus 6 camera. So I'll go ahead and launch it real quick. And you'll see uh, just how fast it takes images. So with a standard Nexus 6 camera, it normally has to uh, focus. And it seems to take at least a second or two to take images. But I'll go ahead and show you guys how quickly we can take pictures with the CyanogenMod 12 camera. It's just an instant shutter. And then it's the same thing with video. It begins recording instantly. So the moment we touch the video button, it is already recording which is better than the Nexus 6 because for some reason that shutter takes forever to respond on the Nexus 6. Sometimes you just totally miss the photo opportunity because the subject moves or uh, something is just not right because it takes, like I said, one to one and a half, two seconds sometimes for that shutter to take the picture once you've hit the button in the regular Nexus 6 camera. At least that's been my experience. So the camera's working well here. Bluetooth seems to be working well. Um, Wi-Fi is working well, LTE is working fine, so all the radios, all the signals, uh, everything's working good here. I installed this ROM about five hours ago and it had, my battery percentage was 50%, I'm now at 31. So for now it seems like battery life on this ROM is pretty good. Real quickly, another few things that I wanted to mention. Uh, in this ROM you do have the battery percentage mod, and you also have portable hotspot is enabled. So if we go into our settings, and if we go into status bar, you can see where you can actually change the battery status. So one thing that I wish was here was a center clock. They don't have the center clock mod here. And then built into the ROM is uh, Wi-Fi tether. So you can actually use this quick pull down, which is another setting here. So instead of using the two fingers to pull down your settings, you can actually just grab the right side of the status bar and it'll pull down all your settings. That is another cool feature of Signage Mod 12 uh, because using two fingers to me is just kind of annoying. And then you just hit the hotspot button. It'll go ahead and activate your hotspot. I did test this today and it is fully functional. Okay, so of course it includes CyanogenMod applications, audio effects, browser, the camera. Uh, it includes the file manager. It includes the messaging app. It includes the music app, which is, stands out from just the play music app, which actually allows you to easily access any audio files that are on your device, which is nice that they included that. So there's a few other settings. If we go into settings here and we go into the buttons, you can set up your home button, menu button, search button. Uh, you can set up your volume buttons, which is pretty cool. So when the phone is locked, you can actually use your volume button to turn the phone screen on. And you can also use the volume buttons to skip tracks, which is pretty cool. There's also a, a setting here to reorient the buttons. If you have your phone turned upside down, you can actually still use the buttons. Uh, up would be up and down would be down. If we go into our privacy and privacy guard. Now privacy guard, if you enable it, an application asks for permissions, it will allow you to deny those permissions. So when you install an application, uh, it gives you like a list of permissions that that application needs. When you install that application, you are okaying that application to do all of those things that it said that it will need to do. So some of the things are really not necessary for the application to function correctly. Like it may ask for your contacts list. If you have Privacy Guard turned on, if it's trying to access your contacts list, it will pop up a message asking you, do you want to allow that? You can actually deny that, which is pretty cool. The application will still function as normal, uh, but you can deny those unnecessary permissions. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, one thing that's been built into Privacy Guard is Super User or Super SU. So instead of actually having to download Super SU, Privacy Guard will now manage uh, your Super User permissions. So one thing that's unfortunate here is that uh, if you look at security, it comes encrypted. Not everyone needs encryption, but I will say that uh, Sinajamod 12 flies whether or not it's turned on. Uh, you can disable encryption still, but it'll wipe your data if you uh, use the method to unencrypt the phone. 
you probably just leave it encrypted and everything will be fine. Your phone will run fast and smooth with no lag or issues. Okay, so real quickly, we'll take a look at the Easter egg. Just go to About Phone. You can see that I'm on the Nexus 6. I'm on the latest nightly, which is today, the uh, January 6th nightly. I'm on Android version 5.0.2. If I tap the version, you'll see that I have the CyanogenMod Lollipop Easter egg. Press and hold that, that'll go ahead and launch the game, which is just as hard as on the regular version. Okay, so other than that, uh, you do get extra added speed and performance. As you can see, it flies with zero lag. If you go into the uh, home, you can see that it comes with Launcher 3. It also comes with the Google Now Launcher, uh, but I just prefer the Launcher 3 that it comes with because it is super fast and quick. Okay, we'll also take a look real quickly at the wallpapers. So you guys can see that it does come with signage mod wallpapers. And then we'll go ahead and boot into recovery and install the ROM. Okay, so you will need to be bootloader unlocked and you will need to have a custom recovery installed like Team Win Recovery Project. Then to boot into recovery, we're going to hold volume down and power. And then we're going to scroll up until we get to recovery and then press power. That's going to launch us into Team Win Recovery Project. Now you'll need both the CyanogenMod 12 and you will need the G app. So I'll make sure to include links to those in the description. First thing that you're going to want to do is back up your stock rooted ROM. So go to backup, swipe to backup. This is going to take probably about 10 minutes. But the good thing about Team Win Recovery Project version, uh, the latest version 2.8.2.1, is that it actually shows you, uh, it shows you the status of the backup. So you'll always know where the progress lies. Uh, previous versions, you just had to kind of sit and wait and hope that it was doing what it was supposed to be doing. But I already have my backup. If you want to restore that backup later on, if signage mod is just not your thing, you would go to restore, and then you would choose. Uh, where you want to restore to and you would swipe to restore so what you want to do first is go to the wipe button and then just swipe to factory reset and then you'll go to install you're going to choose the signage mod 12 nightly and then go ahead and add another zip and grab this g apps swipe to flash that give it about uh, two to three minutes and it will have both of those files flashed and then you'll just go back and hit reboot and reboot the system now the first boot probably took me a good 10 minutes. I mean, literally it took forever to boot. It actually appeared to boot loop. So the signage of my 12 logo came up like this and it kind of just circled around uh, for a good eight or nine minutes. And then it kind of started over. And I was thinking, oh great, you know, I'm in a boot loop. I'm probably gonna have to go back into recovery and wipe data, but it just gave it a few more minutes and it did finally boot up. So if it takes, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, don't freak out. If it takes any more than 15 minutes, you'll probably want to go ahead and hold volume down and power, boot into bootloader mode, get into recovery and wipe your data. Uh, or at that point, if wiping your data doesn't get you out of a boot loop, you'll need to restore your device. But anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this how to install guide. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.